So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wesker, and I will be your commentator for this game. We're dropping it on here. We've got Professor West and Nightwing versus Thomas and Blake. These and Did you just get kicked out of the call? <laughs> what the? <laughs> With the call, forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, my internet just crapped out real quickly there. Harry, <laughs> <laughs> dropping it down here. We've got Wes running. Thomas, to don't start out yet. Espeon, Metagross, Nidoking, King, Galvantula, and High Dragon. Those three pseudo legendaries. Blake running in. That Gyarados, Shuckle, Metagross, Clang Clang, Bastion, and Jellicent. And we got time to run down that Garchomp, Provo Pass, Greninja. Excuse me, real quick. Nightwing's camera's going fuzzy on me. I'm not allowing me to see what the other two Pokemon are, but I think it's an Aerodactyl in there somewhere. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. This will hardly affect the commentary for this gameplay. Dropping it down here, we got 55 second MLG players to pick their three Pokemon. Who knows what they'll be with that? We've got that Espeon running in, that magic bounce that people love. The Galvantula getting in, that that, uh, <laughs> that, speed, that, lowers the, that lowers the speed of Pokemon. Well, who knows here? Here we go. Here we go, folks. 2v2, 3v3. Got dropping it in on here. We'll see what these MLG players going in head to head. We will see just shortly what their Pokemon will be. There seems to be a connection error or something, folks, as it is taking quite a long time to get the video into play here. <laughs> All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here come the first two Pokemon out onto the field, and we got Jellison and Probopass, two tanks going head to head. Good and in with that funky mustache, Probopass, who likes to drop his head when he plays. I dragon and that <laughs> Drops an ass when it blinks. Blake, I'm gonna use the move. I dragon being a pseudo legendary, being dark dragon, really weak against those fairy types, but he doesn't have to worry about that right now. There are no fairy types in the field. Nightwing's camera zooming into that big schnoz on Probopass, that must have <laughs> taking up half his Jealous. <laughs> are you got kidding that me? With coming out on the first turn. Bring that high dragon. Really gonna cut its attack in half there. That is really bad for <laughs> Professor West. That high dragon is more of a physical attacker, but who knows? He might get off a successful dragon dance. And Probopass switching out. Aerodactyl seems to be coming out. My dog is knocking on my door because he really wants to see me, but he doesn't. That's not important right now, ladies and gentlemen. What is important here is that High Dragon is burned and taking damage, and its attack is cut in half, unfortunately. What will Professor Les do with this High Dragon? Jellison coming out on the board, being a nice tank, and I think the other Pokemon's love threat. Forgive me if I can't tell properly, as I'm on a Skype call, and Nightwing's camera being a bit fuzzy. Yeah, yeah. Going for I was not sure what attack that was, but High Dragon taking it like a boss. Going for that Focus Blast on I think it was Aerodactyl. Super effective, taking him down with one shot. He didn't have that chance. Wasn't even with his attack being cut in half. Wasn't super effective. Jealous and taking whatever it hit. <laughs> and going down from that Luxray. Fuzzy attack. Drag almost out for the count because that burn is slowly eating away at his health. Luxray is still coming in strong as he has not got any damage done to him. Uh, Thomas, Thomas is now sending out. out. Oh, I'm not taking out the Shinja. As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, Greninja. Usually people will be running a protein Greninja and they usually run a life orb. And what people like to run is a, a life, like life, life, life orb. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, but what I meant to say was Ice Beam, Scald, Extra Sensory, and Dark Pulse. As Greninja does have a wide move pool, sometimes people will run a Grass Knot. Some go for Hyper Beam. Who knows? Ooh. As Greninja can be at any any time. And he goes for the super effective Ice Beam on High Dragon, taking him down. But no matter how Dragon's life was coming to an end shortly, that clean playing out on the field. And get looks like getting off that swagger, raising his attack sharply, but confusing that clean claim, which could be very hurtful to him. Although his defense is quite nice. Oh, going for that yeah. gear grind. Anyway, this confusion not affecting him. Hitting that looks rate quite well with the critical hit on that first hit, going for that. Two crits in a row, ladies and gentlemen. This is unheard of. <laughs> Although not very effective. So looks rate doesn't. Unfortunately for the other team, survive this, but 
but it's good for Professor West and Nightwing. Metal Boss coming out. I got it. I got it. Etiquette. Two steel types out of the field. He has that air balloon though, so ground types are ineffective as of at the moment, unless he gets hit with another attack. So you know, get hit that man goes with a super effective attack, ladies and gentlemen. That Greninja will have to go for a dark pulse, which is likely the case, as I predicted it. Protein coming out for that super effective dark pulse on Metagross, taking it out. Unfortunately, as Metagross is not much of a special defender. Let's <laughs> race. Staying in, Clang Clang, snapping out of his confusion on one turn, going in for that bind attack, not allowing Luxray to leave. Luxray using Roar, sending out that Greninja, Professor West down to his final Pokemon, bringing out that Probo Pass once again. Luxray get hurt by that bind, almost taking him out, but surviving with four HP, ladies and gentlemen, hanging on by the skin of his teeth. That Clang Clang going in strong, <laughs> and that Probo Pass now a massive thing. Oh, is Thomas, Thomas Kittle, Little King. Ditto King getting sent out. West's final Pokemon. Oh, oh and he, he also has an air balloon. That means ground types are in effect oh until God, he gets it. hit. What do you mean you can't do it? He has an air balloon. Lake Thomas unable to do something as they are trying to plot something. That Earth Power going out on Clean Clean. Super effective crit over hit. And Clean Clean was in no way about to survive that. And is down and out for the count. Love Charlie going in for that crunch on that Probo Pass. Unfortunately, doing absolutely no damage at all, but getting the defense fall, ladies and gentlemen. That will really be hurting Bro as he does get off that power gem on Nido King. Not sure why, as Nido King is part of ground and rock types are completely ineffective. That was a horrible move on his part. He should have gone for that look straight, but what a terrible player. Well, we'll see what this next Pokemon sends out. As Blake is sending out a Gyarados oh, with intimidating, oh, okay. lowering the physical attack of Nido King and looks right. Really going to hurt Nido King, ladies and gentlemen, as he is a physical attacker, unless he's running sheer force. Then people like to do something. Like, what up, what up, I King. Gyarados going in strong. Mega evolving to that Mega Gyarados, getting rid of that flying type, four time weakness to electricity, but getting in that bug fighting and fairy type weakness as that dark type can hurt him a little bit but not as at this moment nido king going in for the ice beam getting rid of the super effectiveness and turning it to not very effective because he's not a flying type anymore go figure come on oh super effective gaggles taking a hit like a true warrior going for that waterfall but really gonna affect nido king right now ladies and gentlemen and nido taking out professor west down and out for the count it is all up to nightwing ladies and gentlemen his role looks like right, still going in strong not really as he does get earth power and taken out the other two players really coming in strong ladies and gentlemen the promo pass and gary goes dominating the field promo pass still taking up half of the screen with his massive schnoz and having a <laughs> Gyarados being by his side as a weird dragon serpent. Talonflame coming in, ladies and gentlemen. What people like to do with Talonflame is usually run a choice band, Gale and Wings, and they stay for the braver, the shit out of everything, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we will see if that's what he does as Talonflame goes for the fly. Wow. Survive for a turn, avoiding the Thunder Wave <clears throat> and Power Gem. That four times super effective attack, Thomas ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now they have a chance to take Talonflame down as if he does use Fly. He's probably going for that Gyarados, hoping for the KO. As Gyarados does have mighty bad physical defense, and it does take out the Gyarados, ladies and gentlemen. But Powered is coming out strong, four times super effective. No way Talonflame is leaving this, and he gets taken down and out. Nightwing down to his final Pokemon. Nobody knows what it is, ladies and gentlemen, but that Pro Pass going out. The Beast. The legend, Promo Pass taking, taking charge of the field. Braille Room coming out. This is really bad for Promo Pass, ladies and gentlemen. People do like to run a technician, bot punch Braille Room. Oh, we'll we'll find does. out what happens. Yes, he could go for a Source Dash to go double up his attack and maybe seal the deal of the. What? Attack. What? He misses that dynamic oh, punch. Oh, oh, really? His only chance now is to get off the super effective mod punch and hopefully take down that probe out, as it is a 1v1 situation right now. But oh my God. the other team does have the one advantage as he does go for the earth power. Hitting that Breloom, not very effective though, so Breloom still has a chance, ladies and gentlemen. But his special defense is now cut and he goes for the power up punch. Taking down that probe pass in the process and raising up his attack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one intense battle coming down to the final two. The final Pokemon of these two MLG players, ladies and gentlemen, Breloom, paralyzed, oh. Greninja, 
getting sent out. Mark Punch. Whatever, ladies and gentlemen, as, he, as a part dark type right now. Mark Punch. Have that priority Mark Punch. Come on. Tom is getting dropped from the call. Nobody knows if that'll affect him or not during this MLG battle. <laughs> get off that Mark Punch. Plus, a paralysis hack may come in and affect this battle. But then to be faster, going for that extra sensory psychic type. What is the other player thinking? Not using Mock Punch unless it's not running it. Brethren getting down. Greninja, the beast, the legend, taking down Brethren with an extra sensory. I don't know why Thomas didn't use that Mock Punch, ladies and gentlemen. It was his only hope, as Greninja was a water dark type when he got sent out. What an amazing battle this was ladies and gentlemen two players going head to head mlg hit was a close battle unfortunately let's stick around for the post game interview <laughs> you're gonna interview me i let you down wes